white man in boxing. Where the flare cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code Goodfellas1Boxing. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellas since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And it sounds like me, Ryan Garcia, is ducking Abner Mares, right? Now the narrative is that Abner priced himself out. All right, Abner sent this uh, contract to fight Ryan on his own or for Ryan to come over, I think it was. Maybe, I think he sent both, right? Now... They saying that according to Lance Pugmire and to um, Golden Boy Matchmaker, that's who he tagged, and I put the screenshot on the uh, screen if I can remember. He says that um, you know Abner is too small, too slow for Ryan Garcia, and they looking at other options. And you know Ryan Garcia is probably going to fight Gusta. Remember he was supposed to be the new Manny Pacquiao at lightweight, and I believe somebody whooped on him. It might have been Lenares. Somebody beat him and, and took his mystique. And also, you got the other young guy, uh, Hector, but I heard that the other, you know, young guy, they don't want to put two of their prospect, prospects in the ring together. They'd rather fight Gusta, and I'll talk about that later. But I don't think it's necessarily Ryan Garcia, Duck, and Abner. You got to understand, Abner Mars and Oscar De La Hoya, excuse me, don't have good history. Straight up and down. If you remember, Abner Mares was removed from one of the Canelo, I think, Triple G weigh-ins, or was another fight. Um, Oscar had him removed because he was speaking bad on Golden Boy. And what he said was that when he was at Golden Boy, he was sleeping in his car. And, you know, before he met Al Heyman, you know, he was in his car and wasn't getting treated right at Golden Boy. And when Al Heyman came along, Al Heyman basically saved his career and put some money in his pocket. And Oscar De La Hoya didn't like that. And he had him removed. So this may not be a case of Ab, uh, Ryan, you know, ducking. This may be a case of personal feelings here. But nonetheless, you know, Abner is willing to fight him. There was some issues overweight. Abner wanted that 132. Ryan wanted him to come up to 135. And now what they're saying is Abner's slow, old, and he's been out the ring too long. And now it don't make no sense. Like, dude, you fought for Cisco for sake of what fucking sense did that make? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, Ramirio Dunno, you ducked him and then fought him and it looked staged. Like, Ryan, Abner would be the best win on Ryan's resume. Even if he fought Gesta, Abner Mara still accomplished more than uh, Gesta ever accomplished in his career. Gesta ain't ever won a world title. Mara has won titles in multiple weight classes, I, I believe. And at the end of the day, Abner, you know, actually pushed for the fight. He told Alderson to offer, Alderson to offer. And everybody saying, well, Abner is known for pulling out of fights. And Abner is known. And they turned on Abner Mara. It's not for Ryan Garcia. All I'm saying is, that's the best name on the on the table. Jorge is stuck over there in Japan. You know what I'm saying? He not going to get T.O. They don't want to fight Devin. They not going to fight Loma. They not going to fight Kimbosu or Selby. They fighting each other. Like I said before, a lot of people sit here and they praise Ryan Garcia, but he ain't done nothing. Tank did a little bit of something. T.O. did a little bit of something too. You know what I'm saying? Devin did a little bit of something. What has Ryan done? Ryan has done absolutely nothing in the sport of boxing. So, you know, I'd like to see the Abdemarish fight, you know, not from a schematic standpoint or a blueprint, just because it has some bad blood to build up and be nice. And we know Abner won't be one of those opponents that's going to roll over. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about Golden Boy. They're getting a lot of opponents that's going to roll over for Ryan. And, you know, anytime Golden Boy keep making in-house fights for Ryan Garcia, I'm going to just believe that they can taking dives. And that's just my humble opinion. A lot of people might not like my opinion on that, but I just think they take a dive. Not saying Ryan don't have no no talent, but I don't see it like everybody else. You know, I don't even think he a top five prospect in boxing. You know, I should secure Devin T O well T O and Devin can't be prospects. But secure well whew, I keep saying secure. But can't say Devin. Gary Anton Russell, Colbert, Du Bois, Ennis, you know what I'm saying? Um I also think Virgil Ortiz, I put him above Ryan Garcia, you know, no in particular order, but those five, I believe, you know, you know, are better than him. And in a way, you probably go a little bit more deeper. Is Do you think he'd be better than Josh Kelly? Some people may, some people may not believe he'd be better than Josh Kelly, you know, so there are some, some dudes that's on the rise. I mean, I mean, 
Travion Mazon from on Golden Boy. He's a brother. You know, he wanted the, the the best kept secrets in boxing. We all know Golden Boy don't do right by the black fighters. But he another guy that's rising. You know, his stock is rising. And, you know, uh, Damian Rock, hopefully I said his name right, Philadelphia, another prospect that's rising as a heavyweight. So, so there's a lot of good prospects out here, man. But I think Ryan got a tremendous, a tremendous fan base. Um, but I think he should fight Abner. Why not? Why not put Abner to sleep? Abner been talking. Abner pushed for the fight. No more Jorge Linares. And they plan on him fighting July 4th, but I don't want to see him versus Gesta. Um, you know, Gesta is a southpaw uh, from the Philippines. You know, I just think he another guy that's going to that's gonna, that's gonna take a dive. And maybe he, maybe he can shock Ryan Garcia. At one point, people believed that, you know, he was going to be the heir apparent to Manny Pacquiao because he was a southpaw. He had some, you know, solid athleticism. But um, would that be a step up from Forsaka? Yeah, it would be a, a step up from Forsaka. Yes, they've been a lightweight for a minute, and it just seemed like they they feed Ryan all their faded stars to boost Ryan up. But at some point, Ryan will have to fight somebody that's worth a damn, you know, in that division. That's going to be Camboso, you know, maybe if Selby win, uh, Richard Comey, you know, I think he'll be able to bounce back. But to be honest, he's just not on the level of, the level of Devin Teo or Shakir Stevenson. It's just – a known fact. He's just not that good of a fighter, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that, you know, he going to get in there with somebody that can expose that chin going up, that can expose him him really trying to wing those shots. And his coach said it. He said, we ain't done nothing yet. You know, but, you know, Linares, like Ryan said, people would have said he was old. You know, he ain't had no chin. He would have beat him. You know, and if you truly, you truly ready to step up, I hate to say it, make the Devin Haney fight. You know, I think they can make money down the line, but make the Devin Haney fight. You know, but if you don't, they don't feel confident in him making a Devin Haney. They just trying to get Ryan an easy belt. That's it. They trying to get Ryan an easy belt. You know, but I hate when fighters say, well, I would have knocked him out. I would have, hey, man, take the fight. Tell Oscar to make the fight with Abner Mares. That's better than Gusta. <laughs> make the fight. We know Abner and I are going to come over to roll over. We know Abner going to come to win. Is he too small? Is his eye messed up? Could be, you know, but let's see. You know, Ryan Garcia did struggle versus Jason Velez. That was before he got with Eddie Renasso. He did struggle with Velez, you know, but with them saying Mars, you know, he's, he's too small. It's all these excuses. Same thing with with, with, with Billy Joe. Or, you know, the, uh, Golden Boy Matchmaker get on the, get on the you know, uh, the screen and, and Fight Hype caught it. Oh, uh, Billy Joe is too uh too boring. They got all these fucking excuses. This guy too boring. Oh, this guy pricing himself out. He too old. He too slow. You know, he he it don't make no sense. You know, Golden Boy is a company that at the at the essence of it, Oscar De La Hoya, he will make the best fights when it financially makes sense for his fighter, JoJo Gary Russell. But really Golden Boy is a company in boxing that we don't need. And you know, a lot of the a lot of people over there dying. James DeBeast Wilson, Rashidi Ellis, Travion Maison over there. Hopefully I said his name, name right in Austin. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them dudes over there suffering. Canelo don't want to be over there. There's rumors that he may leave in a few fights. You know, Golden Boy need to lead the game. The Zone built a platform. And the reason they probably going to go broke and get out of boxing pretty soon, they built a platform on two rinky-dink boxing promoters. Eddie Hearn named on ring no bills in America. And Oscar De La Hoya ain't been nothing since Al Heyman left him. You know, and that's the God honest truth, man. But like I said before, man, I think they should make the Abner Mars fight. You know what I'm saying? What you got to lose? You got the superior athlete, but I'm telling you, they don't believe in Ryan Garcia. They gonna keep making in house fights so they feel at Ryan Garcia ready. They're gonna get Ryan Garcia easy belt. When Devin leave and Loma move back down, T.O. move back up, they gonna get Devin Haynes, they're gonna get Ryan Garcia one of those vacant belts. Watch what I tell you. They're probably gonna give him the WBC belt. He gonna be beating his chest on my heel world champion, fighting some some dude, some random dude, man. And that's how they gonna do it, man. They gonna continue to uh they gonna they gonna they gonna really they gonna really map out his career. And for him, he's gonna need a lot of great matchmaking. Visual Ortiz, in a minute, in about a year and a half, two years at the most, they gonna be able to clip his wings. He's gonna be able to go eat in the welterweight division. Ryan Garcia gonna need some some training wheels on his wings for a while. So we'll see what happens. But, it, it, you know, in the lightweight division, it's not going to be nobody there for a while unless Burchett move up, you know what I'm saying, and, and Tank move up, you know what I'm saying, permanently. You know, it ain't really going to be no dominant person there. They're going to be able to get him a title or two 
And maybe they make the Tank Davis fight, but who knows the way Tank going, you know, that may or may not happen. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you got business questions. Or you can reach out to Twitter or Facebook, Instagram if you got business questions, crowd response, your video quests. All the links in the description. Want to make a donation, cash app, PayPal in the description as well. Best donation you can make is share, share the video. And shout out to David for making a donation, PayPal, the other day. But you can just share the video for me. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. One time for the one time we're